All right, Eric Arnold is back in the politics barn. We're back in the politics barn here on Tuesday night, October 27th, and we're here to discuss Tony Bobolinsky's interview with Tucker Carlson, which aired just a few hours ago on Fox News. <laughs> Somebody said, uh, do you know to Tony Bobolinsky? I said, no. I mean, of course I don't know him because if I did, he would have advised me that he was going to give this interview. The last video I made, I stood right there and said, nah, I don't think uh, I don't think Tony Bobolinsky is going to make the rounds and go on shows like Tucker Carlson. And then I post that video and boom, an hour later, exclusive Bobolinsky on Tucker Carlson. So... Uh, I don't mean to bombard you all with videos, you know, have seven, eight, ten videos out a week where they're all stepping on each other and you don't have time to view them all, but this is important. So I felt the need that this, this video needs to be made and it needs to be made now. I'm a little irritated right now, you know, uh, um, there are parts of this story that I'm just becoming aware of and, and you know, rather than take the blame myself, which is, uh, you know, no one ever wants to accept responsibility. And I'm not like, you know, I'm, I'm like everyone else. It's not my fault. I'm blaming the, you know, this blackout, this legacy media blackout is effective and it pisses me off. Uh, there are dribs and drabs of this story everywhere. And it's, you know, it is pretty bad. So I tried to summarize, it, it's becoming more clear in my mind what happened here. Uh, the good lieutenant, he helped clarify it a little bit this evening with his 45-minute uh, interview on Carlson. Uh, so I'm going to try to impart to you what is it, it, it become clear in my mind and if you know more about it, feel free to put it in the comments, or if I'm wrong, put that in the comments, and uh, it, maybe together we can piece together, you know, A, what happened, and B, is it important? I think B, the answer is emphatically, yes, it is important, but let, let, let's get to this. Uh, I forget which subscriber asked me, can you whiteboard the whole Bobolinsky thing? And I thought, oh my God. And, and here we go. I got, you know, all my three whole panels and now are filled with Bobolinsky crap. So I guess this is my attempt to do it. Um, apparently Bobolinsky uh, dumped these texts out to the media and whatever media outlets, very few of them, actually went through them and published some of the uh, applicable emails and texts that were on those three cell phones. Again, a uh, successful media blackout because this is the first time I've seen them, you know, tonight. Uh, so let me try to walk you through this. December 2015, uh, Gillier, I think his first name is, yeah, James Gillier. He's one of the people in this deal. He's uh, English or British, English, whatever. Um, wheeler dealer, international businessman. He is involved in this deal, potential deal, and he is pitching it to Bob Alinsky. Uh, I believe this is a Bob Alinsky email. Uh, I'm getting this from an opinion piece in the Wall Street Journal uh, that ran, I believe, the 23rd of October. Uh, do I have that right? That's what my notes say. So Gillier is saying, hey, Bob, uh, I doubt he goes by Bob. Hey, Tony, that's his first name. Hey, Tony, come on in with us. We need a businessman at the head of this deal to run the company, basically. Uh, a math guy, a business guy, an investment guy, uh, uh, a finance guy, uh, of which the Bidens are none. You know, they, so they can't run their own company because they have none of this expertise. So they need a guy like Bob Alinsky to run the company. March 2016, Gilliard still trying to sell Bob Alinsky on coming in with them on this deal. He tells them that CEFC, that's that Chinese entity that uh, I guess is uh, 
Chairman Yi, Y Yi, Y E, is involved in. CEFC will be the Goldman's of China. Now, now this this is where I think the penny dropped for me. Where I, it, now all of a sudden I start I'm starting to understand what they're doing here, what the deal is. Goldman's is a reference to the American bank uh, Goldman Sachs. It's an it's a bank. It's an investment bank. It's 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 a place money goes through. In other words, uh, if you want to build a, a skyscraper, if you want to build a baseball stadium in your town, where do you get the money from that sort of thing? Well, you got to go to one of these huge Wall Street banks like Goldman's, and you go there and you borrow the money from them, and that's kind of what. I think CEFC, it's, it's, it says energy, but I don't think that has anything to do with it. It's just a place for the Chinese, and apparently CEFC, of what everybody's saying, was hooked in uh, fairly tightly with the Chinese Communist Party. Uh, it's just a place for the communists to park their money, basically. So the money's going to go from CEFC through Sinohawk to... American municipalities, basically. In other words, that, that money will be invested in America with anyone who needs money. Uh, so if, say, um, I think one place I read they were looking at was uh, the, uh, the state of Minnesota, of all places, where they had some municipal work. I think it might have even been a railroad where they've got to redo the tracks every so often. And I could be totally making this up. I'm going by memory. But, uh, but so this, this uh, municipal project needs to be done. Where are they going to get the money from? Well, I, you can go to Wall Street and you can borrow it at whatever the uh, going rate is to borrow money. Or potentially, you know, here's this other possible outlet out there. This, you know, Sinohawk. Uh, which may offer the money at a better rate, possibly, or what have you, or a comparable rate, but provide you better service, maybe, somehow. I don't know. Uh, I think that's the thinking, is that they were then going to invest with uh, the various American municipalities and governments throughout the country in infrastructure-type work. Um, really, I think they would invest in almost anything, uh, anybody that needed money, uh, depending if the deal was right. So that's what I think Sinohawk was ultimately designed to do. So we have the deal here. Uh, now, remember this. If, if you know you you don't you're not good with uh, dates or uh, calendars. December 2015, March 2016. Joe Biden is still the vice president of the United States at this point. And this deal is being put together uh, for him, basically, and his family. Uh, so, you know, it, for me, it uh, defies belief that he doesn't know this deal's being put together. So he's the sitting vice president while this deal is being hooked up between uh, potentially his family, and the Chinese. Um, here's another email. I did not get the date on this off of the uh, uh, Wall Street Journal article. I apologize. But it fell in between March of 2016 and early 2017, where Bob Alinsky is uh, thinking about coming on board, but he's uh, concerned about the role of Hunter Biden. And he's kind of a, a leery of getting in here and he's saying basically i should be outranking hunter biden in this setup that we're putting together if you want me involved and gillier is texting him back saying that the chinese involved are intelligence quote our intelligence so they understand the value added what he's telling Bob Alinsky is, hey, back off here. These Chinese, the guys involved are intelligence, so they understand that the Biden name is the value added. That 
you know, oh yeah, Biden looks, uh, Hunter Biden seems like a screw up, but, uh, you know, we're, we're not buying the screw up, we're buying the name. So that was one of the uh, uh, messages there um, that Bob Alinsky shared with us. Now, in the interview with Carlson, Tonight, Bob Alinsky says that on May 2nd, at night, you know, maybe 10, 30, he even put a time on it, late, late at night, 10, 30 or so, he met with the Biden family, specifically with former Vice President Joe Biden in the Beverly Hills Hilton Hotel. Um... And they discussed, it was just basically his term was a high level meeting, which I guess that means was a meet and greet type deal. In other words, we're not talking specific percentages. We're not talking uh, exactly who's going to do what. Uh, it's just basically a meet and greet. How you doing? Uh, what's your background? Getting comfortable with each other. Uh, the Bidens want him to run the company, but they're also checking him out and he's checking them out to make sure he wants to be involved in these guys. So he meets them that night on the second at the Beverly Hills Hilton the next day after Joe Biden gives a speech at, I believe it's something called the Milken conference, something about an investment conference or whatever of all things. Then he meets him again afterwards backstage. Didn't sound like that meeting was nearly as long as the one on the night of the 2nd of May. And that's it. So now he knows that Joe Biden is definitely involved in this deal. Um, now, after that, then we have this email. So this is 11 days later here. This email from James Giller. And Bob Alinsky explains this email which is where they are talking specifically who's getting what in this company. And he specifically states that the big guy is, of course, Joe Biden. Uh, now, further, uh, I believe the legacy media in the past few days has made a big deal out of the fact that whatever final corporation documents were filed for Sino Hawk or whatever they called this company. Joe Biden, of course, is not on the documents. Um, Shazam! I mean, no, that, you don't, don't, don't kill, man. Well, I guess we might as well stop the video. There's no scandal. What's going on? I mean, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I mean, I think the Bidens are not the sharpest tools in the shed. But they're not that stupid that they're going to put Joe Biden on the actual documents. So um, Bob Alinsky is accusing, see here, this says 10 for Jim in the email. Jim Biden, that's Jim. Jim Biden gets 10%. In the actual corporation document, Jim Biden's getting 20%. And Bob Alinsky is saying, why all of a sudden is he getting 20%? Basically alluding to the fact that Jim Biden's holding Joe Biden's 10%. So that's what Bob Alinsky's explanation is as to where the equity is for big guy Joe Biden. So uh, uh, the meeting there with uh, Biden, Joe Biden in Los Angeles, that's significant. Um, May 17th, uh, 2017, there's an email. Let me, because of space, I kind of abbreviated it here. Now, this is a uh, text or whatever. Um, we're arguing at this point who's getting what, what's the company going to do, who's going to be in charge. So they're still going back and forth, kind of hashing out who gets what, who does what. And this is from Hunter to, I assume, Bob Alinsky and possibly some other people. Uh, as like a group text, it says, and Tony, that is what Zhang implied. They are both coming to be my partner, capitalized. I mean, I, my partner. 
you know, I always thought that that was a sign of, I mean, I know my brother, when he gets on Facebook and texts about the Eagles, three quarters of it, if he's agitated, is in capitals, which, you know, I always kind of thought, all right, I mean, what are you, six? Uh, but, you know, Hunter Biden, you know, puts in capitals, my partner, let me start over. And, to, and I think the machine capitalizes your name I don't know, just as if you don't see it or something. I don't know. It seemed weird because I don't know first thing about WhatsApp or Blackberries. But anyway, let's read this. And Tony, that is what Zhang implied. They're both coming to be my partner, to be partners with the Bidens. He has implied that is that the number one has made that clear and available to him. I'm going to read that again because reading, I guess, is my first strong suit. And Tony, that is what Zhang implied. They're both coming to be my partner, to be partners with the Bidens. He has implied that the number one has made that clear and available to him. Now, I don't know who the number one is. Uh, apparently, it's not Zhang. But I guess the Chinese are basically, Hunter is telling Tony, hey, I'm what matters here. You know, you're just a, you're just a schmuck that can you know, add numbers. You're just a guy that has business sense. I'm a Biden, man. I'm a Biden. You're nothing. So know your role. Back the fuck off. Uh, profanity, I'm agitated. So sorry. Um, all right. Where are we at now? Um, so that's on the 17th. Now this is significant. This is significant. On the 19th, this is again coming from Hunter Biden in, a, I think, a group text, but Bob is uh, the main recipient of this. He's saying that my chairman gave an emphatic no, capitalized no, I think we should meet in Romania on Tuesday. In other words, uh, now Bob discussed this in the Tucker Carlson interview, and he said basically what that means is I'm trying to get these guys to agree to good governance on the, well, how are we set this up? In other words, it's a company, it's an actual legitimate entity. Uh, the rules that have to be followed, you can't just have the principles of a company just take money out of the uh, uh, company whenever they want, uh, because that screws all the other people in the company. Uh, it screws the investors in the company. So you have rules, you gotta have rules. And whatever, deal or rules that Bobolinsky was pitching there, uh, an emphatic no. My chairman, that's Joe Biden. That's Joe Biden. Bobolinsky said that in the Carlson interview, as if it wasn't obvious enough. Uh, my chairman, this is Hunter, Hunter Biden talking, my chairman, he's talking about his father. Uh, I think uh, the other guy involved in this, Rob Walker, confirmed that. My chairman means Joe Biden. This is significant. That means Joe Biden has actual input, is actually controlling what this damn company is doing. He has, it's not he just met with this guy just because he's uh, concerned about his, his screw up son and wants to make sure that poor old Tony is uh, gonna take care of Hunter and not screw him over. He is actively involved in this company, actively involved. So this is significant, and I learned this today. All right, what else? Um, day after this, Gillier, and uh, the English guy, he texts this to Bobolinsky. Don't mention Joe being involved. It's only when you were face to face I know you know that, but they are paranoid. Let me read that again, not like a six-year-old. Uh, don't mention Joe being involved. It's only when you were face-to-face. -face. I know you know that, but they are paranoid. It, it, you know, I mean, come on now. Joe Biden is involved. He's intimately involved in this. He's, if not calling the shots, he's certainly one of the major, if not, I would argue he is the major player. Uh, Hunter is deferring to him. If Joe Biden says, hey, we're not doing it that way, 
then they don't do it that way. Now, uh, what happens, yeah, there was another one here. I didn't write down all the things here. Let's see, da, 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 da. Kind of fun, da, da, da. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Here's another one. Now, this was I got. I'm taking this from a website called uh, Legal Insurrection. This is yet another text message uh, from Hunter, uh, and this is a good one. Um, this is in June. This is in June. So we're still trying to haggle who's going to do what in this company. And apparently Bob Alinsky, you know, sinking the world here. He's uh, being a fly in the ointment. My God, what, what, what we brought in Mr. Straight Arrow Square Jaw here. Um, he's saying, uh, I, this is not right. So here we got Hunter. I believe he's talking to James and probably the uh, Bob Alinsky got a hold of this text. Either he was on the chain of emails or he got forwarded to him because Bob Alinsky made this available to the media. Bullshit, James. This is Hunter talking. Bullshit, James. All around bullshit. Explain to me one thing Tony brings to my table, capitalized, my table, that I so desperately need that I'm willing to sign over my family's brand and pretty much the rest of my business life. Read the fucking documents, people. It's plain fucking English. Plain misspelled. Why in God's name would I give this marginal bully the keys to my family's only asset? Why? Should I cite, cite, I think he means sign. Should I cite 20 different clauses and five different documents that say, oh, I see, cite, maybe uh, C-I-T-E, as it's spelled S-I-G-H-T. All right, let's see, let's start over there. Should I cite 20 different clauses and five different documents that say Tony owns and controls and manages and parcels out and lords over me everything from my right to work to my right to an opinion, period? So, you know, Hunter is clearly now getting frustrated with the uh, presence of Bob Alinsky. And ultimately, this just, this, nothing happens, at least as far as Bob Alinsky knows. That's pretty much how the story ends in that what Bob Alinsky tells Carlson is we were supposed to get $10 million from the Chinese to fund the entity, to get us going. And we never got it. We never got the 10 million. Uh, uh, what we did end up getting, I guess eventually, was uh, 5 million went directly to the Bidens as a quote loan and then Five, I guess they got five million that, uh, I'm not even sure about that. I gotta double check that, uh, it, it, who got what. But he's definitely said the five million went to the Biden family. And I don't know if they got, the other five million was even paid. Uh, but I know the five million, Bob Alinsky is saying it went to the Biden family. Um, and then that's it. it, nothing ever happened. I guess the company just dissolved because the Chinese, it fell apart on their end that uh, they never came through the CEFC that was supposed to end up being Goldman Sachs, never did become Goldman Sachs. It just, you know, fell apart. You know, that shit happens all the time where, you know, some small startup company has delusions of grandeur that we're gonna be the next fill in the blank and, and it just doesn't happen, you know, and, and apparently Chairman Yi, I guess no one's seen this guy in two years. I guess they think he's at the bottom of the Yellow River or something. Um, oh, well, you know, so that's the story as what happened. Now, how is it supposed to go down? Like I said, I think they were setting this up such that they were going to get this Chinese money and they were going to then invest it it, uh, hence the presence of the Bidens. In other words, what was that key contacts email listing the who's who of Democrats in politics? Well, those are the people that are going to get you the contracts. If you need to be the one that's going to be hooking up, redoing the railroad tracks in Minnesota, 
Well, you better have some ends with the governor of Minnesota or the senators of Minnesota, somebody, so they can kind of make sure you get the deal, you get the contract. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean there's a kickback involved, uh, but uh, it doesn't hurt that, uh, uh, you know, your name's Biden if you're trying to get a contract from Tom Wolf, the Democrat governor of Pennsylvania. So I, I think that was the thinking of how this deal was gonna go down. As far as this guy goes, I, I find him a little bit, no, not a little bit. I think he's annoying. I, I don't like James or uh, Tony Bobolinsky. You know, he's wrapping himself in the flag. He's so offended when the media is alluding to the fact that he's owned by the Russians. But of course, he had no qualms whatsoever about getting involved in influence and peddling with the Bidens with China. That was cool. Uh, Russia, ah, I'm mad. I'm stampy foot mad. Yeah, whatever. I mean, yeah, I, I'm not 100% sure why this guy's coming out. I think his information is legitimate. I don't see holes in it. It certainly hasn't been refuted in any kind of fashion or that makes sense other than the Bidens just sticking their fingers in their ears going, nah, 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 nah. you know, it, where's Hunter Biden? Has he said one damn thing about this? You know, where is he? Maybe he's at the bottom of the same river that Chairman Yee's at. That's possible. But, you know, Joe Biden's denials, they ring hollow, they're bullshit, they're lies. It, it, it irritates me, it does. And it irritates me that the legacy media has simply ignored this story. This is a big story. And you know, just the way they've just pretended it's not there. Um, I don't know. I mean, it, if Biden wins, I do not see how this story just goes away because there's more to it. Bob Alinsky basically said, look, I was out. They cut me out early on. They cut me out by the summer of 2017. I don't know what they were up to after that. So there could be more here that the good lieutenant's simply unaware of that the Bidens may go on, have gone off on their own and done deals with the Chinese totally without Chairman Yi, maybe with somebody else. Uh, 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 you know, th that hasn't been discovered yet, but Bob Alinsky seemed to think that there's more there that he just doesn't know. Anyway, I wanted to bring this to you, at least what I have, what's become clear in my mind. Uh, again, you, you can tell me I'm full of shit, and uh, that's fine. But if you do tell me I'm full of shit, please explain to me why. A and you know, maybe I am wrong, and maybe you can clarify for me, but this stuff about, well, Biden wasn't involved, here are the corporation documents. He's not listed. That's just stupid. You know, don't, don't waste my time. Don't waste our time with that. That's just stupid. Uh, uh, tell me how. Biden wasn't involved in this, he, Joe Biden, because I think he clearly was. I mean, you know, there, uh, he's talking about the Biden legacy. Why is Bob Alinsky even meeting with him? <laughs> if he's not involved, what you, what's he meeting with him for? And he meets with them right there as they're about to get the whole project off the ground. Who's the big guy? Come on, I, as Joe Biden would say, come on, man. Yeah, whatever. So, you know, if you're going to tell me I'm wrong, um, be convincing. All right, that's it for the politics barn this evening. Like I said, I don't want to inundate you with videos, but this is important. So I don't know when the next one will be. I'll just let this one sit out there for a while, probably, unless there's some, there'll probably be a damn development tomorrow, maybe. I don't know. I, I, what I do expect to happen soon, maybe by the time this video is done, or by there's going to be a bombshell coming out in the leftist media about Trump. I don't know what it's going to be, but I guarantee you they're holding their water for one last, you know, stink bomb. And you know, let's see what it's going to be. I guarantee it's coming though. 
All right, thanks for being here. I appreciate the, all the new subscribers. I hope I entertained and or informed you just that much. Um, like I said, uh, I don't know when the next one. We'll just let the uh, events dictate. Thanks, and I'll talk to you again.